Welcome back, guys, to Boss Fight number three. You guys have been asking, and I'm here to deliver. Now, I want you to unlock a specific skill for me, if you can, before you get to this boss, Weapon Catch. I'll talk to you about that a little bit later on when we get to it. Also, Strong Sweep, again, I highly recommend. But besides that, I've got a couple of others, but they're the only two permanent unlocks I've got on this save slot, okay? If you've made it to the end boss before this elevator, you can just take it straight up and you can pretty much skip everything in level 3, except just have the boss, which is fantastic. When I was playing through this the first time, that was a big lifesaver. Now, let's let's work her out here, guys. So, this first phase is a very interesting phase. It's one of the longer phases, the way I handle it anyway, because she's just very sort of unpredictable in her, um, her range a little bit. You can't really try and get in there because she'll... See, she'll come at you, and it can be a real pain to block and parry and this and that. So, the way I like to play this fight is uh, wait for a certain string that she does, and then pounce on her. Now, see this attack here, guys. You've got to be wary. You want to run away from this attack. It just goes on and on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is insane. That's the longest I've ever seen it go for. All right. So what you want to wait for is a certain string that pops up. Let's have a look. Here it is. This is the string. Ready? Bang. Weave and punish. And you're going to wait for that string every single time. And this guide isn't the most exciting. This isn't the most exciting way to beat the boss. But this is the way that I found the easiest to beat her around the first time. This You just want to run away from this here. Don't run into a wall like I did or you'll lose half your health. <laughs> But you just want to simply run away from that. You shouldn't get that uh, animation too many times. Maybe once or twice. Here she comes again, guys. Weave, punish. Now, you've got to watch for that follow-up. You can go in again here if you want, but I don't. See, so look at my health now. This is how punishing this boss can be if you don't watch it. Okay? Here we go. The string. Run in, weave, and punish. Right? I want you to run in, weave, and punish every time. She does that string, and she will glow. When she glows orange, red, that's when you're about to come in, okay? And everything else, here we go. Weave, punish. Baseball bat really does some extra damage, which can help if you can bring the baseball bat in or the knife. Now, again, all this stuff here, there's probably ways to get in. I just don't want to be involved. <laughs> I want to play it patiently. I just want to wait for that opportunity and have the fight on my terms. And look at that. That's how easy you can die with that move. You've got to be quick on that. You've got to run, you've got to get out of there. Also, when she's doing that move, the strategy that I have is have a focus meter ready for when she does that move to, to block it. That can be very beneficial. Here she comes again. Run in, weave, pound. What combos do I suggest here? Well, I've been using heavy, heavy, heavies. The heavy, heavy, heavy attack. I've found it just does a little bit more damage. Uh, especially on the structure. So, again guys, I'm, I'm not trying to make this stylish. I'm just trying to get you through it. <laughs> Here she comes again. See how I wasn't close enough? If you're not close enough, she will not do that follow-up attack. Which you won't, be, you won't allow you to punish her. So you have to be sort of just in this weird range. Run in, block, attack. Bang. I've got a focus here. I'm going to hold on to it in case she runs at me with that really aggressive attack we saw earlier that killed me, right? Again, just keep this sort of distance. Here she comes. Run in. Weave. Bang, bang, bang. We're getting there now. We're really getting there. Now, this, see here? There is this follow-up attack here. We, you can go in after that, but I just... I'd rather play it safe. There's really strict timing on some of these other moves. I just... Yeah, you can parry and block all you want. Now, ready? I'm going to use it. Bang. See that? Counted her. And then you can follow up and finish her. So hopefully that helps you with that first stage, guys. Um, again, you just got to be patient. Keep your distance. And hold on to the focus for when she comes at you. If you do those three things, I think you're looking pretty good. A couple of deaths on this boss. One, one death at the start and one death at the end here is good enough if you just want to get through the game here. I think it is. On your first playthrough anyway. So now, here comes my favorite part. 
See how I've grabbed them? You can throw them back. You like that? You like that, don't you? Okay, so how we want to work this boss fight. When she runs in at you, you want to parry everything. Block, block, and then you want to weave the final hit and punish. That is your strategy for when she's coming at you. When she does thi this, again, you got to weave and punish. Bit of timing there you got to work out. You might get hit a few times. Block, 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 block. Here she comes. Weave. Yeah? Does that make sense, guys? A lot of weaving on this stage. Ready? Weave. I'm going to try and not do any damage just so we can repeat. She's really aggressive, so it's hard for me to talk and show you at the same time. Ready to weave? Weave. And punish there. <coughs> Again, she'll come in here. Weave. That's when you strike, yeah? And also, because of that... See how I catch that? See how I catch that? So if you don't want to weave there, you can actually use the weapon catch, catch it and throw it back at her for that extra little bit of damage if you've got that weapon catch on. Don't, it's not necessary. You can just dodge those, which is what I've been doing. But, you know, there is that opportunity there for a weapon catch. I've got to be careful here. I'm age 67 on this run through. <laughs> so you want to weave this, punish there. Ready? And when she comes in here... If I try to weave this, watch. I still took two hits out of that. Did you see that? I still took two hits. So watch this. If you just... Look at the difference. Didn't take anything. Much better way of doing it. Empowering, whatever you want to call it. L1. And there's the old child. That's the first time I've reached the max stage on this uh, on PS5. That's quite funny. So now I'm going to put it all to work here and I'm going to beat her for you guys, right? Let's see how it goes. Weave, punish. Bang. Then you can follow that up with this again to see what she's doing. Weave. Bang, bang, bang. Again this. Block. Sorry, weave. Take that off her. She came at me, the bitch. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to sweep her once and I'm going to sweep her again for double damage. She's really hurt now. We're nearly over. We're nearly done. Block, 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 block. Weave, finish. And that is that boss. Once I started to switch things into gear, as you can see, it's, it's really... Hopefully this can help you guys with this boss fight three. Uh, she is a pain. At second stage, you've got to be really quick on your feet and you've got to get ready because she's moving at a light speed compared to that first fight. Which So that's the big contrast in this that I think a lot of you might be struggling with where the first one can be a real slog and then the second one, you're in, you're in, you're in, you know. So good luck, guys. If you have any tips for anyone yourself, because I know some of you have beaten the game and, and are mastering the game, leave it in the comments and, and try and help some other people out. But... I will see you in the next video, guys, for boss fight number four. With that all being said, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on for more Sifu and, of course, Horizon and Elden Ring to come in the next couple of weeks. Should be a lot of fun, guys. Hope you're enjoying the content. Take care. I'll see you in the next one.